welcome back to my channel today i thought i would do a little day in my life i'm gonna bring you around with me update you on a few things my head looks like a fluffy little mess because i have freshly washed hair so we're gonna do that this morning we're gonna sort this out but first i thought i'd take you through my skincare i posted a couple of stories which i will insert here over the weekend and i had so many questions on my skincare routine so i thought in today's vlog i would show you my am routine and pm routine literally in kind of like real time so yeah that is what we are going to get started with this morning apologies to everyone who has seen this routine about a hundred times but i wanted to just have one video where the whole routine is in it and actually like demoed fully so that people can refer back to it so to start off my morning skincare routine i'm going to go in with an old favorite lots of you will have heard about this before this is the oscar renaissance cleansing gel this is a really lovely like rosy but not like gross rosy gel textured kind of balm i really like cleansing gels that are like non-foaming for me my skin can get a little bit dry dehydrated like not flaky dry but just kind of like lacking in the hydration so i don't like to use anything that foams because those cleansers can be typically quite drying not always i'm not an expert so take everything i say about skincare with a pinch of salt do your own research follow caroline hirons because that woman literally changed my skin but yeah on the whole as you will have seen from my like before pictures i'll put the full skin journey like right here lots of people have seen it before so for full context the image of me in the stories where i look hella broken out that was i believe around august september october time and then through the skin journey pictures that started from october and that was after having heavily reduced my sugar and dairy intake like the dairy was like nothing and sugar i i always say i kind of cut down on sugar and people get really angry at me i cut down on artificial sugars so i still have like your regular sugars that occur in like your fruits and vegetables and all of that and then i still obviously eat sugar but it's definitely in moderation now but at the time it was like nothing like i wouldn't have any desserts any ice cream so basically it had already heavily changed my diet so this is why I am very like ravey about my skincare products because there was only so much that my skincare routine was doing. I was still getting spots by October over August. August was like a bad point where I still hadn't, I think it had been Ryan's birthday and I was not like on it with diet and like making sure I was eating good foods. But the October starting point for my skincare journey pictures, I'd already done kind of the most with my diet in terms of like not aggravating my skin and i just say this for context because there are a lot of people replying to my stories at the weekend saying oh yeah it's amazing what being vegan will do for your skin and i'm like mm. Mm. as much as it is very like well known for you know helping skin a lot i do think these products are and this isn't me like product pushing because i'm well aware the products i use are not cheap i'm not giving you like drugstore skincare pharmacy vibes when it comes to skincare i had tried so many different things and this is just what worked for me and everyone's been asking what works for me so this is just it i'm not telling you you have to buy anything but just for full context i fully put the majority of my skin's happiness down to the products i've been using this is one that you could take or leave to be honest in a routine but i absolutely love it this is the allies of skin a molecular saver probiotics treatment mist and the reason i love this mist is like there's a lot of mists out there a lot of mists on the market but this one doesn't like evaporate off your skin so four sprays will do. I try and do like vertical motions so it covers the whole of your face really evenly. Like I can talk to you and it's not drying off of my skin. And what a lot of mists do is they kind of like sit on your skin and as they like evaporate and dry off, they take apparently. This is just, you know, I don't know how true things are. I'm actually not a scientist, believe it or not. Apparently when you have your mist on your face and it dries off, it takes the moisture that is actually in your skin with it but this doesn't do that. It doesn't evaporate off your skin. Like it's still, like my face is still very wet right now. So yeah, it's just great in terms of like retaining the moisture on your skin. But anyway, I go in with an oil after that. And this is the Sunday Riley UFO oil. I love this and I swear by this. Lots of other people do as well. Whenever I mention it, so many people are like, this has changed my skin. Lauren vouches as well. She's in the room next door. She will vouch that it has changed her skin. So yeah, we love this so much. I have the little one at the moment. This was actually a gift from Space and K. They saw I was running out and sent me some more, which I'm very grateful for because I had like a few days where I was using this every couple of days just to try and string it out before I purchase a new one. My skin was looking ropey. So I tried to use this at least once a day on my skin. I always use it. I never normally put oils over my nose, but I always put this oil over my nose because it helps my blackheads 
it's amazing you can see when you go through the skin journey photos you can see like the congestion on my skin just lift so with the skin journey pictures which i showed you earlier this and the satin mask from sunday riley those were the two starting points for that skin journey so i used those from october up until christmas and my skin dramatically improved and then i introduced a few things into my evening routine and switched things up a little and that has been the catalyst for like some amazing like progression of my skin so these were doing really good things and if i hadn't had the hormonal like spots that i had like that hormonal acne was so so intense and if i wasn't getting that then i would say that this oil is enough if you just have like congested skin and you want it to look clearer this oil is incredible so like i said there's a few things in my evening routine that have really like supercharged this whole routine and helped like progress it even further but this was such a great starting point i don't use this every evening now because i have a slightly different evening routine because of the products i've added in but i try to use it every single morning and if i'm doing a glycolic mask in the evening i do that maybe once or twice a week i used this mask last night this is the charlotte tilbury radiance resurfacing facial i popped this all over my skin just for 15 minutes last night and then took it off washed it off and then just popped this on my face and my skin looks lovely and clear this morning and i try to have like a couple of times a week where i do that and like really exfoliate my skin and then because i don't want to use another active my skin is very sensitive so i try and stick to one active ingredient like my evening treatment that i use for like the glycolics and all of the different acids in this that's like one set of actives so i try and keep them all separate if i'm retinoling retinol is the only product i use that evening i wouldn't do like a glycolic mask and then do my retinol treatment and i wouldn't do the glycolic and then do my like niacinamide exfoliating moisturizer thingy really keeping you in suspense most of you know what i'm talking about so i don't know why i'm bothering with that but anyway so i try not to mix actives too much just because my skin doesn't like it and it can break down the barrier of your skin and what i found that i was also suffering with along with the acne that i was having was i needed barrier repair so the barrier of your skin like is basically it kind of like works to fight off bacteria and if your barrier is like broken down then your skin is more susceptible to breakouts because it can't like process the bacteria that's like coming into contact with your skin it's a bit like your immune system but for your face essentially so too many actives like mixed together can really mess up the barrier of your skin so i try and keep them all very separate in terms of eye cream i am using this one from bare minerals this is the skin longevity eye cream this is on its way out this one's nice i definitely am more of a fanatic about the current evening eye cream that i have been using more than my daytime eye cream i just kind of use it to make sure that my makeup goes on well i also know that i should use eye cream i think i will thank myself later in life it just doesn't ever really feel like it's doing anything like i don't have particularly dry eyes but i do it because it's good for you you know in terms of a moisturizer this i can take or leave like the oil is enough for me i have very like hydrated skin as long as my water intake is good but i do like to kind of do the most and this is the molecular multi-nutrient day cream again by allies of skin because I just love their products i really trust them i never have one of their products that has freaked my skin out to the point where i would consider they've sent me their vitamin c and i would consider trying the vitamin c even though vitamin c is like not the best it can break you out such a catch-22 because on some people it completely game changes their skin and their scarring and on some people it will just completely break them out and that's definitely happened with me and vitamin c before but i trust them to the point where i would actually consider trying the vitamin c so yeah that is moisturizer that is my skin post skincare broken up with a little blemish here today i've been getting them here a lot i do think maybe it is my evening eye cream i'm not 100 but that will make me really sad because i love my evening eye cream maybe i just need to not take it down so far my final step in my morning skincare routine this is holy grail this will never change i found an spf that my skin agrees with and this is like one of those like really pharmaceutically SPFs, you know, not just like a makeup brand produced an SPF, but this stuff is like the professionals like this stuff, and I trust that. It's the Helio Care 360 Fluid Cream. They have like a page on their website, and it has like a list of like real non contagemic ones. This one is listed as non contagemic, but it's not the main one that they have in that section. But the fact that it's not that special one and it's not breaking me out, I will take that. So this is how much i apply i think if you want a decent measure like this is how much i've always done it looks like quite a lot it looks crazy but it like warms into your skin and it doesn't like look crazy in a minute the guide for how much you should use i think at the moment people are saying like two fingers worth make sure that goes literally all over my face 
including eyelids, you know, the whole shebang. And I use this literally every day, even if I'm in the house, because the treatments that I use are acids and things like that. No cinnamide, you know, obviously your retinol, which I know is having a real moment at the moment, and a lot of people are using it. I know a lot of friends that talk to me about using it, and I'm like, yeah, but are you wearing SPF? And they're like, no, and I'm just like, oh my God. Your skin is so much more susceptible to sun damage if you're using acids, retinols you know, actors, etc. I'm gonna leave that to settle, but I always, always follow up with that. And that has been one of the game changers for, along with my skincare products that are really helping to lift the scarring. They do their good work and this helps maintain that good work because when you go out in the sun and you have scarring, the pigmentation, the sun makes it worse. So if you're using all of the products, like you could use the same products I use, the second you go out in the sun, it's undoing all of that hard work and like incredibly damaging on your skin at the same time. I'm actually just going to use a little bit of my Saint Tropez self tan purity mist because I feel like my face really doesn't match my neck. I always do this if I've got dressed first. <laughs> just really don't want to even risk it. Like I love this um, body. I'm just going to do my hands as well and I'll leave that on for like half an hour and then wash it off because this can go pretty dark on your hands. If you want a full routine, I think the last video was a little vlog, but it also had my tanning routine with Saint Tropez in it. I went through the full shebang of what I'm doing at the moment. So if you want to go and see that, I will link it at the top of the screen. Those circles are looking dark this morning. Ooh, okay. My eyes do not normally look that dark. I have some new things to share with you this morning. I'm having a real beauty moment at the moment, which is nice because I used to obviously primarily do beauty on this channel and I really fell out of love with it and I've really missed feeling that like excited feeling about beauty that I used to feel and I just haven't felt in so long but there are so many things recently that I've just felt so like genuinely excited about. That being said I am going to start off with something that you've all seen me use about a hundred thousand times. This is the Biteri CC Cellular Rose Brightening Serum. I'm popping it on a spectrum brush. These are my new spectrum brushes which I think you have seen already I'd love to make my own brush set. that would be so goals what color if you could have any brush set color what would you make your brush set let me know i want to know where's our touche class i love the new packaging of this matches the all hours i said this in the last vlog i really like it this is the best foundation like if i am not feeling quite myself even if i want to have like a minimal makeup day i pop this on it doesn't even have to have anything else on with it and i just feel like 110%. It speaks volumes that this foundation has been in my collection. Not this exact one. <laughs> Don't come at me. This foundation's been in my collection since I was still living at my parents' house. By the way, you can obviously tell, but I'm doing this foundation and just my makeup in general in the viewfinder, so I take no responsibility for any of the cock-ups that I make. I have new things from Vive, and this has actually been one of the brands, it's obviously Jamie's brand, that I have been asked to talk about by you guys so much. Everyone's like, I wanna know your thoughts, and I'm like, oh, there's no real pressure here. The lipsticks and lip liners were lovely. I bought so many of them, as many that were available when it first launched, and they are lovely, a little bit brown, for my tastes but the longevity and pigmentation everything so spot on i'm hoping she'll extend the range as time goes on these i am really enjoying so these are the eye ones this one i've been getting the most use out of this is the shade sand and then this literally came in this is what was in the box this is the packaging this came in on i believe friday or saturday it's the vive skin dew glow multitasker and this is meant to be like highlight that's like non glitter that gorgeous like actual dewiness so in terms of the eye ones my favorite shades are sand which i mentioned earlier and then we have camel which is a really nice warm brown and then we have raven which is the black shade which i actually use on a this little brush this tiny dinky little brush from spectrum which is the a17 and this is my favorite favorite for eyeliner at the moment after this i will whiz through my makeup because it will be the same probably as the last video. But I'm really back on enjoying like my little flicky liner again. It makes me feel so good. I'd forgotten how good I felt with just a little, little flick in the corner. But yeah, I like these a lot. So I'm gonna use the shade Sand. I'm gonna keep things kind of like minimal on my eye apart from the flicky obviously I generally like apply this all over my eye and then it blends in really beautifully with fingers like melts into the skin but not in a I'm gonna melt into your skin and disappear kind of way and that's gorgeous you could literally apply that all over blend in with your finger bit of concealer like to lift here and you're done we also have the shade vanilla which I haven't used yet it's very light this is the a12 brush and that into like a nice matte highlight and that just really brightens up the inner corner of the eye so I'm just gonna take camel and centrate that in the outer 
part of my eye and then I'm going to blend that in with a brush because I feel like this could go horribly wrong using my fingers. I'm using an A28 brush from the set and I'm just going to pull this quite high and I always take my crease colour all the way up to my brown bone as well. I'm just making sure these colours are all really nicely blended together as well before I move on. So black liner, it's really nice and simple. I actually do follow it up with my black eyeshadow after. It's mainly just to set it and it gives it a really nice depth but honestly if you struggle to do liner I actually highly recommend one of these little brushes because it just makes it so easy. You can kind of stamp the color on rather than working with a true liquid where you dip your like brush into the liquid and it's very wet and it's quite a lot to work with that needs a little bit more of a sharp flick if you want to get the sharpest kind of flick possible i recommend like the smaller the brush the better because it will give you the tiniest tiniest little flick out at the end if in doubt take a q-tip or if you're me your nail and make that look. So now I'm just stamping eyeshadow over the top just to set. It just gives it that real depth, which I could get by building up the eye wand as well, but I just want to make sure it like does not move. And I also find the use of eyeshadow along the bulk of my eyeliner. It makes it that much deeper and then it makes your flick look that much more gradiented. So it just looks like a real swish little flick. Tidy up these brows while they're doing. I honestly hate doing get ready with me's because I just always watch the footage back and I'm like you're a hot mess. Yeah. Anyway, still using this mascara and I actually think it has been helping to give my lashes a little bit of time off in TLC so much. Like I didn't want to go without mascara. I don't look good without mascara. I know I have dark lashes and I could probably get away with it, but I don't want to. Top tip for this one is actually just to take a little bit of the product off your wand. Actually, to be honest, I do this with most mascaras the less like product they have on them the better results i tend to get but i always scrape a little bit off especially with this one before i'm just gonna pop on some of my kevin aquan foundation balm with the mac i don't know what number this is it's rubbed off just to cover my scarring and i've got a couple of little bumps going on this foundation is amazing i've done a full like high coverage makeup tutorial if you haven't seen it okay v skin dew we are now at that point where i can actually put highlighter on so on the back of my hand Ooh, I think I've probably already used too much. So I have a highlighting brush that I really like to use. This is the Spectrum A33. It is a mess, so I'm just gonna dab that here and then blending that out with the Spectrum brush. This brush is the best for highlighter. It does the exact same work of your fingers, like gives the same effect, doesn't like eat up the product, but without actually having to use your fingers. I have a little bit left over in the back of my hand, so I'm just taking it on a really tiny little Spectrum brush. This is the A22. I'm going to press that into my inner corner. That highlight's really pretty. I'm now just taking a little bit of the hourglass brow arch through my brows. So this morning is step one in Susie learning how to redo hair because I actually feel like it's got to a length now where I can crack my old GHD curlers out on it, which it has been a while, kids. It has been a while. I'm going to give this a little straighten first because I always just find if I make sure my roots are all good, the curls will look better. I won't worry too much about it being like completely straight. Sorry, I had to take a quick break. An ASOS parcel has arrived. I have some things to show you. I can't remember how to curl hair. This is going to be so interesting. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm just alternating the direction of the curl. I'm working my way around my head and hoping for the best. This 
is where we have got to. I actually, I am not mad about this. Day one of me learning how to do hair again after three months of a bun. It's mildly successful. It's getting to this time of year where the selfie light in this room is really good. But basically my whole garden is like fully lit up in like the spring summer sunshine and it like bounces into this room. So nice, makes me very happy. Anyway, some things have arrived and I'm gonna take you through them. One box arrived yesterday, one box arrived today. Asos got me fully got me. One thing that I've already unboxed and been fully like loving is Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. This is the skin scent edition. So there's the EDP skin scent and then there's they do skin scent in like the bigger and smaller I believe. So this one is meant to be like a fresher version I believe. It is so nice. I am obsessed. Like I was talking to my, I call her my sister-in-law because I can't be bothered to say brother's girlfriend, which is probably equally as long. But we were talking about the Tom Ford, what is it, Soleil something? Hang on. I don't know how to say this one. I'm not going to BS you. We were talking about Tom Ford fragrances and she said she loves that one because she loves Bronze Goddess and it reminds her of that. And I've been wearing it so much. And I was like, oh my God, I used to wear Bronze Goddess all the time. Like it was my go-to for the summer and I haven't worn it maybe in about five, four or five years. I can't remember when I last had a bottle, but I decided to pick it up and I have zero regrets. It is even better than I remembered it being. I love it. And I also love the lid. So I picked that up and then I also picked up some bits, some bits from and other stories on ASOS because sometimes when you can't get something on the main brand's website, go to ASOS. I picked up this little black cold. So there's trousers and a top. I will do little swipes to me trying everything on. So the trousers are a little bit long but I think due to the material I can either take them up. If anyone knows the best way to take these up please do let me know. But yeah it just kind of looks like it's been cut straight across. I'm sure they have a very special thing that cuts this kind of material though. But yeah maybe I'll be able to wonder web it. We'll see. Unfortunately they just don't have enough material like around here for me to be able to fold up too much like this is probably the best i could do yeah i could roll it up once i think once is the most i'm going to be able to do though without it being too tight around here sadly a little bit long but i like this enough to want to make it work so let me know your thoughts on what you would do in this situation if you have any experience in like taking things up I would love to hear from you. This is potential real like wishful thinking vibes but I picked up some of the triangle bikinis and they come in these really cute nude tones now. I was going through my bikini collection and kind of like sorting through my triangle ones have just I have had them for years they have seen better days they are not the colors they used to be so I thought I'd pick up these colors so I have the tops and the bottoms you can buy the tops and the bottoms like in one order together, but you can select the different size top and bottoms, which I just think is so great. And they come in a pack of two. These are the tops. So excited to maybe wear these at some point. Let's face it, it's not gonna be soon. The weather is pants in the UK right now. We have got like early spring weather in late spring. It sucks. I also picked up some mango ugly sandals in black. I just thought I'd give them a go. These look really cute. We have the mango shoes, which are very comfortable because of the squishiness. So comfy, but don't love them like I love these. These are so great. They're comfy, but they look smart. They also come in black, so I think I'm going to pick up the black pair as well in the size four. I think they're just going to be a lot better and a lot more timeless. Then we have a set of anklets and toe rings. You can tell I'm really like just trying to will summer to arrive. I really like this anklet. I have a necklace just like it, which I really like actually wearing with my swimwear. So I thought it was perfect. I just dropped one. No. I really love this one. It's so pretty. And then we have some tiny, tiny toe rings as well. They're so cute. I would actually love to find somewhere that does like gold like actual gold or like just really good quality anklets and toe rings. If anyone knows of anywhere, let me know. And then I saw this top on And Other Stories by ASOS and thought it was so cute and would be just a great piece for spring, but through autumn into winter, anything but summer, basically. I really liked it and then I realized it was part of a loungewear set. So I thought I'd pick up the full loungewear set. I don't know why it's like, honey, you're allowed to go places now, stop buying loungewear but in my defense I loved loungewear before lockdown and it comes with trousers as well these might be a bit long I don't know I think I can work with this yeah I'll show you what it looks like on so this is the little biscuity beige high neck knit I really like this I like how far the shoulders come out it's really cute and then these are 
the ribbed trousers which are a very nice length once i've got a trainer on they would be like perfect length and the colors are really nice too so yeah this could be a winner what do we think i'm going to show you the cardigan with this now oh, this is nice is it a little bit too all beige everything i can't decide i just love like i wouldn't care what color this was i love a good and other stories piece like their pieces are just such good quality i think if nothing else i will definitely definitely keep the knitted top it's what attracted me to these pieces in the first place it's such a lovely top and i think would look just great with jeans or any of my tailored trousers with leather leggings so yeah a really nice versatile piece and then in this box we have the estee lauder edp then i also got some beauty bits as well i'm really on beauty products at the moment i picked up the charlotte tilbury color chameleon this is the amethyst eye pencil it's meant to be for green eyes but i always feel like purple is kind of cute on brown eyes as well then i picked up two nail polishes because i remembered that you know we're going to be socializing soon and i'm gonna want to have my toes out over the summer and they currently don't look that cute so i picked up a couple of colors this one for when i'm feeling a little bit more free and i want to go for something kind of bright and then this is this is a throwback this is cocktail bling which is also a throwback shade but this is sc saint-tropez which is just the most gold colour. I actually didn't like this back in the day. It wasn't my shade. I used to really love like a bright kind of neon orange back in the day when I was painting my nails. But this is my kind of shade now. And it's always been a really great one for like a toenail colour. So I'm excited to actually paint my nails with these. It's going to be so cute. I then picked up this rollerball from Kaylee. I think that's how you say it, Kaylee. I'm sure someone will tell me if I've got it wrong. It's the vanilla and musk travel scent. This is what it looks like. And I just thought it'd be a great one to throw in my handbag. I also literally just had a delivery of some and other stories bits, so I thought I would show you guys. They're not from ASOS, but they were so cute that I couldn't pass up the chance to show them to you. I have this pair of very pale, almost like a beige, but it's like a pinky beige. Gorgeous little sandals, very like the row-esque, which I really like. It's a vibe that I'm really, really enjoying at the moment. They are so pretty. They also do them in black as well. And for reference, I'm actually finding that and other stories shoes are running very big on me at the moment. So normally I take a size five, which is their size 38. At the moment I am wearing the 37, I believe. Yeah. 37 so just a little heads up for you guys and then i also picked up this midi dress which is in a very me color in that there is none and it's this cute ribbed midi dress it's got a slit on one of the sides it's going to be more of a maxi on me so if you're taller it will be a midi if you're shorter it will be a maxi yeah, i'll show you what that looks like on now i'm so excited to wear this this dress is so nice I'm really happy with it. I think it will be so lovely with a black leather jacket. After I wore my black midi dress in the last vlog with my black leather jacket, I was just like, oh, that is an outfit that I need to remember to wear more often. I know I've really gone off my leather jacket, so it wasn't at the forefront of my mind, but I just loved it. And I was actually just watching that vlog back to sign it off. And I was just thinking, oh, I can't wait to wear my new and other stories dress, which I mentioned in that clip with that leather jacket. I think it will look really, really nice. And this with like a blazer or trench coats, denim jackets. This would look so nice with my blue, like cropped denim jacket. It's just going to be a winner from spring summer right through to autumn even in winter i think i could do a little belt and then put a chunky jumper on over the top and like tuck it in this would be really cute i got a size small i think i could have done extra small to be honest there's like a lot of excess around my waist but what i didn't want was then because it's ribbed around like my other areas so like my hips and my boobs it would the rib would then stretch and i didn't really want that but yeah i really like this one so cute that is everything i picked up very neutral as always but i honestly have just found since i switched to a neutral wardrobe over the past couple of years even when i introduce color into it it's just become so much easier to dress for example the yellow top that i bought from zara just works so perfectly into my wardrobe because the colors that i do kind of gravitate towards wearing are often like warmer tones peachier tones which work really well with nudes or like blue tones which just work really well with like the blacks and whites in my wardrobe so i am finding that the occasional bit of color that i want to work in just works in so beautifully and i don't really have that oh but what would i pair this with worry ever because it's all just working really nicely together so not the most exciting color palette going on but real staples in my wardrobe that i just know i'm gonna wear and wear and wear and just to give you guys a little outfit of the day i really like this outfit i'm wearing my white trousers which were from asos i don't think these are in stock anymore but i will link some similar ones if i can if i'm honest i would love a lighter pair these are a very like wintry pair they're super super thick i would love a lighter pair that i could also take up i need a professional to take these up maybe a nice linen like tailored pair would be really beautiful these are almost like a 
velvety material. I then have my nude Zara body, which I just love so much and i thought i would let you all know that me and my team are currently working on a blog post that is it is literally titled what to wear under the zara bodies that is coming there's going to be a whole little directory for you guys to go to because it is literally my most asked question so if it is up already i will link it but if not keep an eye on my blog i will link it in the info box for you guys yeah this is the nude one which i just love so so much i then have my little zara quilted sliders on which are I got these like years ago when Bottega wasn't even really like, no one talked about Bottega. And they have just literally done an exact pair of these this year that like there's no difference. So I'm so happy with my little Zara shoes. I got the dupe before I even needed a dupe. I then have my Astrid and Mew necklace, which I am obsessed with at the moment. I am loving it so much. And then I've got my Fendi earrings in because I'm just obsessed. And then my watch is my apple watch but the band is from amazon i recently switched it just because the literally i love my black one but when i was doing like outfit of the days like this it stood out on my wrist so much and it was kind of like cutting off my arm like it just looked a bit weird and a bit too chunky i love the way it looks but with neutral outfits it just wasn't working for me so i thought i'd pick up the rose gold just because it's almost like skin toned if that makes sense so yeah that is my outfit of the day i'm really enjoying this one it makes me feel really good good evening everybody i've just got in from a walk, I'm still in my walking things and I'm about to take my skincare off. That is the second time I've just said take my skincare off. I'm going to take my makeup off and do my skincare. <laughs> I've got to the point where I'm a little bit like frazzled at the end of the day, done a lot of like outfit try-ons this afternoon. So my brain is a little bit frazzled. I'm excited to make dinner. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna have. Something really delicious. Ryan's not here tonight, so it's just me left to my own devices, and that normally means like potato waffles and sausages, but I also have a freezer pizza, so not sure. But I'm gonna take my makeup off, take my makeup off. So like I said this morning, my evening routine is predominantly very much the same. I'd say a good five out of seven nights a week. And sometimes if my skin is being really fussy, I will just keep it the same for a good, seven days straight so starting with my clinic take the day off this is the cleansing oil please ignore any background noise it is that time of day where nala goes absolutely crazy because she just has this like biological clock for when i'm finishing work even if i'm still at my desk she just like knows what the time is and she just goes crazy so yeah i just massage that into my skin get it all over my face i don't worry about ever really like leaving cleansers to like soak in or like really massaging them in the only area I really try and make sure is like fully coated is my eye makeup just so the cleanser does the majority of the hard work and I don't have to spend too much time wow scrubbing my eyes and I'm just taking that off using a face halo this is a fresh one since this morning's skincare routine just because I actually used this morning's one to take off my SPF on the palms of my hands but I usually use a fresh one of these every like I'd say three uses normally. Yeah, and this first cleanse just gets rid of all of the makeup and skincare on my face and then the second cleanse kind of does the good work. These face halos are great as well because you can use them as a cotton pad. I don't really take my makeup off with like a micellar water. Like I just go for two full on hard cleansers because I wear so much SPF and so much makeup like a micellar water would just do nothing. But if you're wearing say like light makeup, like mascara, and you just wanted to take your mascara off before you put your cleanser on, you can literally just use these with water on and they do like the work of a micellar water and a cotton pad. And because of that, they're better for the environment. So I literally never use cotton pads now. So yeah, that was the Oscar Renaissance cleansing job, I feel like I forgot to say. And I really like this for a second cleanse. It just feels so nourishing on my skin, but also does a really lovely job of cleansing. Next up, I'm using my Allies of Skin Molecular Face Mist. It feels so nice on my skin, especially at the end of the day. Sometimes my skin is a little bit like sensitive. It's just been through the walls over the course of the day and it's just nice to get everything off. And once I use cleansers, my skin is sometimes a little bit like, ah, I need hydration and that just like gives me such a nice boost. So right now it is quarter past six and I'm alone tonight. So I'm just gonna do my full evening routine and leave these products on my skin like I'll sleep in them. But sometimes if I take my makeup off, so say it's like three in the afternoon and I want to take my makeup off, I will use the UFO oil, which I used this morning and I put that on my skin and then I'll wash my skin after I've eaten dinner in the evening or after I've showered. So if I've got like a nice amount of time, like an early evening, I'll do almost like two skincare routines. I know someone's gonna be like, that's not good for you. But I really like to still like take my makeup off early and apply something nice 
nice and nourishing to my skin and let it breathe. And my skin does benefit from me taking my makeup off as early as possible and it always benefits from the UFI oil just being left to sit on it. But I'm on my own this evening, so I'm just gonna be using the Allies of Skin Promise Keeper Blemish Sleeping Facial. This has absolutely changed my skin. This is it. This has niacinamide in it for one ingredient, just to name one, but it has so many amazing ingredients in it. I will link it in the info box so you can go and read up on it because it's just, it really is worth reading up on. There's so many people that I follow online that have used this and they have amazing before and afters and honestly, it is so worth it. I know that it's expensive, but it's so so good and it's really changed that like, i just don't get before with what i was using the ufo oil and the satin mask so before i was just using these two this on my spots is like a little spot mask which is amazing and this on my skin i was using both of those and they were treating everything that was like going on on my face well but they weren't really like stopping the breakouts if that makes sense whereas this stuff actually like it's completely changed my skin like i don't get those breakouts anymore and on the off chance that I did get a spot, it behaved so differently. I started using that in January. You can kind of see from my progress pictures that things start to like, I just stop getting breakouts from January. There's no new like spots that crop up really. And if they are, they're so minimal and so easy to deal with. So this has a lot of things in it. It's got antioxidants, brighteners, rosehip oil, loads of other, st other stuff that I don't even know what it is. And because of that, it's like a one treatment. Like I don't need to put anything else on with it. I do my mist and then I do that and that is it and do that like nightly as much as physically possible. In terms of these two that I mentioned, one of the reasons this is really good for breakouts is it has salicylic acid in it. So it helps to like prevent the creation of spots. And this one is lovely. I've spoken about this quite a few times and people always say to me, oh, but you know, the Mario Bendescu, which I am very familiar with because I used it for so long. People always say, oh, but that was so much cheaper and you could just use that. And it's got sulfur and zinc in it. But this also has niacinamide and niacinamide is such an interesting ingredient which I only found out about from Caroline Hirons back in October. That was the catalyst that I was talking to her about seeing someone professionally and she did mention niacinamide. Slightly out of context, she didn't just tell me to like look into niacinamide, but she mentioned it. And then a couple of days later, these actually dropped through in the post completely randomly from ASOS. And I noticed this had niacinamide in it. So that was what made me give these a go. So the sulfur and the zinc in this help to actually treat your active spot, but the niacinamide in it helps to like prevent spots reoccurring and I was always getting spots in the same area as well so it was great for me and that is why like over Mario Bendescu or any of the like little drying lotions I will use this time and time and time again I have backups upon backups of this it's so amazing for my spots honestly I just love it I very rarely have to use it now when I first started using this I was using it all the time now I very rarely use it because my spots are just so well behaved which is so refreshing so refreshing because I have been really plagued with them throughout the entirety of 2020 and it just started getting worse and worse and worse the further into lockdown we got. So yeah, love these two. I would highly recommend this even if you are someone that doesn't like using oils because you're scared that oils are going to make your breakouts worse. Honestly, the salicylic acid in this has got you covered. This stuff is incredible. I did actually, weirdly, I don't believe in purging for products. I did actually have a few bumps, like when I don't use it for a while and I start using it again, or I started using it for the first time, I did get a few bumps that came up on my skin. And after a few days, they just go and you're left with this really juicy, clear skin. And it's so wild because I've always had very congested skin. I have I think a facialist once told me, I was like, oh, my pores are so big. And she was like, no, you have small pores. That's why you have all of the congestion and you can see your pores. And honestly, it's the closest thing I've ever had to making my pores look poreless, if that makes sense. I mean, that is a totally unrealistic facial expectation that we put on ourselves. Pores just exist, texture exists, and it's all cool. But it just does make my skin look very, very, very good. And I really like that. So I already mentioned the Charlotte Tilbury resurfacing facial earlier. I love that. Again, use that one night a week generally sometimes two nights a week and then normally the other night if i haven't done two nights of this i will do a night of the allies of skin retinol peptides overnight mask so this has antioxidants brighteners i want to say retinol hide but i don't think that's it <laughs> this but yeah that is all of the kind of stuff that it says it's got in it i'm really shaky I need dinner. So on the back it says, this multitasker treats skin on multiple levels. It hydrates and brightens stressed out skin and facilitates rejuvenation whilst repairing past damage. So I literally just spray, again, spray my mist, 
it's basically the same routine as with this. For a nightly eye cream, I'm liking the Elemis Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask. Really, really like this eye mask. Oh, it's so so juicy i've tried a lot of eye creams recently like i love the hourglass one by the way yes i have broken one now i need to sort them all out now that literally happened earlier anyway i like the hourglass balm i really like that one and then for lip balm i have the charlotte tilbury lip balm which i just love this smells so good like so vanilla -y, so gorgeous and makes your lips look really like i keep saying the word juicy <laughs> that's how i want to look to be honest so yeah that's my fresh and juicy little skincare routine i have very like sugar infested skin at the moment so it has looked better it definitely looked better at the weekend it's still good i'm still so happy with it we have come a very long way with it and i could not be more grateful allies of skin i love you caroline hirons i love you thank you thank you thank you but i hope you guys enjoyed seeing my skincare routine i had so so many questions on it and i probably will still do a reel because i know there are some people that just can't be bothered to listen to me talk in these vlogs so i hope this was useful for you guys even just like the mentioning of i try to mention as many ingredients as i know about because i think that's helpful even if you don't want to buy the products that i use it's worth like doing your own research and everyone's skin is so different like you can have the same kind of like looking spots like i remember people used to be like i have breakouts just like yours and the cause was like tomatoes but basically i feel like niacinamide and spf has just saved my skin I just realized that I hadn't said bye in this week's vlog so bye <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I'm literally about to go and start another vlog straight away so you will see me looking like this again in the next vlog I hope you've enjoyed this and you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye